We know a battle pass for Halo Infinite is never going away, which sounds great at first but could have some potentially detrimental consequences to that decision. And in this video we're going to review what 343 has done in the past and what other games are doing right now when it comes to file size. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. With the recent multiplayer reveal of Halo Infinite, we've seen some really great stuff happen. One thing that 343 has been actually been praised on is the never disappearing battle pass. No more FOMO when it comes to Halo Infinite, as a battle pass will stay within Halo Infinite forever. Which sounds great at first, but the problem that comes with that is file size. Many games nowadays are actually quite large and take up a lot of space on your hard drive, especially for console users. With games like Call of Duty requiring 175 gigabytes of space minimum. And with content never going away in Halo Infinite, it makes me wonder what's going to happen down the line for this franchise. So in this video, I'm going to do a deep dive into what 343 has done in the past with a similar kind of model and what other popular games are doing out right now when it comes to file size because long term that's seriously a big issue so if you guys like these analytical deep dive kind of videos make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this if you want to stay updated with everything going on with halo as a ramp up to the release of halo infinite make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here now there are two halo games that have kind of followed along with this almost somewhat live service kind of model and that's halo 5 and mcc so we can look at 343's track record when it comes to file size and see how they manage this kind of stuff if you guys don't remember when Halo 5 first launch, it was a 55 gigabyte install back in 2015, which back then was a considerable size as anything above 40 was kind of going, hey, that's a kind of a large game. But now recently confirmed on Twitter that it's currently 97.5 gigabytes. So we almost doubled in size right there over the course of two years of updates. And with each one of Halo 5's updates required more and more space to be added onto the hard drive to maintain Halo 5 with new weapons, maps, vehicles, new content, new customization, and just everything, which is what we're expecting to see when it comes to Halo Infinite. And a big culprit for this large file size is actually textures, where the overtime update, which was the last update we got for Halo 5, added in 4K visual enhancements, which mean that you had to download 4K resolution textures, even though if you weren't going to play with them. They even took note right here saying that the overtime update for Halo 5 Guardians ended up being larger than anticipated in terms of file size since the handoff of the release. The team has found ways to further reduce the size of this update and will be addressing this in a future hotfix. Because if you don't know, textures actually take up a huge amount of file size when it comes to the game. 4K is a much larger file size when it comes to texture packs compared to 1080p like you might have had previously. Right here on the MCC Steam page it actually gives you a little bit of information on how much space you need to expect for MCC and it says right here just 43 gigabytes of space. But last time I checked, the MCC is currently over 150 gigabytes if you have everything installed. With these new bits of seasonal content continuously coming in with the MCC, the file sizes keep getting larger and larger. And with Halo Infinite planned to be a game made in a similar kind of mod with a new season every three months like was mentioned in the previous development update, and how a battle pass is never going to go away, how is 343 going to manage file size when it comes to this game over the course of 10 years? Because it was a 10 year plan with Halo Infinite. The last Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Cold War, just the game itself said it was going to require 175 gigabytes. But then they later were able to make it so you didn't have to download the 4K textures, which reduced the file size of the game as a whole down to 80 gigabytes. Which is crazy to think that just removing the 4K option to download those texture packs basically cuts the file size in half, even not even more than half. And Halo Infinite's definitely planned to launch with 4k resolution textures here's an example of file size differences with apex legends it says right here for pc minimum specs it requires you to have at least 22 gigabytes of space but after i've gone through all the updates it's currently sitting just over 60 gigabytes here's a graph to showcase what i'm talking about this is a rainbow six siege file size makeup right here you can see that this big blue section is texture resolution it takes up a huge chunk of the file size of the entire game where all, where the miscellaneous which is actually just the customization equates for six gigabytes where the entire texture pack relies on 60 gigabytes of space and i'm assuming to have see halo infinite be 
rather comparable to these games when it comes to file size. I don't expect it to be like 200 gigabytes, but probably pushing rather close as Halo Infinite as a whole is a, gonna be a very full game with a full length campaign, a robust in-depth multiplayer experience right there. Forge on top of that, as well as you probably, most likely will have theater and be able to play in 4K. A big thing is gonna be how can players pick and choose, hopefully, how they want to download and install their game? We see this currently right now with the MCC, but really it's just for game-specific downloads. And with each new season getting new content, most likely needing 4K resolution textures for those new assets as well, I can easily see the size of this game blooming quite quickly. As we saw with Halo 5, that over the course of two years, it almost doubled in its gigabyte file size. Now, developers can do optimization patches, which I'm sure we will see throughout the last lifespan of Halo Infinite. We actually saw this with Rainbow Six Siege. There was actually a patch to help reduce the file size of the Rainbow Six Siege game itself where it actually kind of ballooned up to 80 gigabytes on PC. And this is a game without a campaign. This is strictly multiplayer and customization options. 80 gigabytes right there. After the BAP update, it brought it down to 60, which is considerably a huge difference. But this is something 343 is certainly going to take note of as we're going to have a battle pass that's not going to go away. And yet, we're going to have to try to reduce the file size in some capacity. And with the expectations I have when it comes to the customization of Halo Infinite, that there's going to be so much customization, so many things you can pick up and add onto your character that the game's not really necessarily designed for you to have all the customization in the game. Kind of like where we're at right now with Call of Duty, where you have the battle pass you can grind your way through, but you also have the store where it has like a rotational set of items. And the idea is to create so much content that someone out there is going to want to buy this, and then it goes away, never to be seen again. And yet the file size keeps on growing, keeps on getting getting bigger. And 343 is not going to be able to just like remove content if say like maybe like a year later you know get a whole new set of battle passes you can grind your way through or something. But the thing is that if anyone grinded out that content from season one and wants to keep that on their character everyone in the game has to download that same asset so then it loads for them. And with the track record of Halo 5 and MCC I could totally see the file size of Halo Infinite blooming to quite a large state rather quickly. You may need a dedicated SSD just for Halo Infinite. I know people do that right now for Call of Duty and various other games. One way 343 could help reduce the file size for what people are playing with is give them options to download aspects of the game that they actually want to download. Uh, for example, being able to download the high resolution textures. If you don't want that, you don't have to install it. Or if you want to install just specific parts of the game. Maybe you're not a guy who plays Forge, don't install that asset or that game mode. You can see right here with Call of Duty, they gave you the option to download just the campaign, just the multiplayer, just the zombies, or maybe not even want to bother downloading the high-res assets. Doing this really reduces the file size and helps you save a lot of memory space on your hard drives. Luckily, we already see this option within the MCC, so I could totally expect to see something like this happen again for Halo Infinite. But having to have 4K resolution textures for all the assets that are going to be in this game, this thing's going to bloom real quick, real fast, and it's going to be quite a thing for 343 to manage. You know, what's going to happen three or four, five years down the road when you have to have all these assets still in the game because people pay hard-earned money to get these specific items and yet you don't want your game to be like 300 gigabytes in size so what are you gonna do i don't know probably some developer magic it seems like do you think final size is going to be an issue with halo infinite well let me know in the comments section down below i do read a lot of comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here i link to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out